Welcome to episode 83 of the Eczema Warrior podcast. Welcome back to the show. I am so excited because first of all, tomorrow is going to be my free live training. So for those of you who have heard me talk about it in the last episode, that I'm doing a training all about root causes and identifying the hidden triggers to your chronic symptoms. So whether you're someone who's experiencing eczema, which a lot of you guys are here for, but also gut issues and mindset and fatigue, PMS, hormonal imbalance, headaches, any symptom that you're experiencing in the body that shouldn't be there, I'm going to be uncovering the root causes as to why you're having these symptoms. And then I'm also going to be diving into how to heal these symptoms through diet, through proper supplementation, lifestyle changes, all the good things. And I am super, super, super excited to announce that I have a new offer coming. I I'm really excited because this is an offer that I thought about many, many years ago when I first started my business, but obviously because I've had my signature program, Clear Eczema, for the past four years, that has been the main offer I have been helping my clients with and helping you guys with. But I know from speaking with you guys in the DMs, a lot of you don't necessarily want the whole Clear Eczema experience and you just want to receive coaching and have your questions answered from me and also be in a community, well, I'm excited to say that I have something coming for you that is exactly like that, where you get a community, you get to ask me questions, there's resources that's going to help you heal and all the good things. I'm not going to be sharing too much about it because the official announcement is going to be tomorrow at the live training. So if you register, you're going to get first dibs on this new offer. And I'm giving away a free one-on-one coaching for attending the training until the very end. So two really exciting bonuses as a part of the free training. So make sure you register for the training at the show notes below. Leave your name and your email and you'll get all the details to the training coming up tomorrow. All right. So today's episode is going to be all about the most overlooked key to healing chronic symptoms. It's not what you think. It's not a specific diet recommendation. It's not a supplement, magical supplement you should take to help you heal. It's not anything crazy. It's actually something that I believe that all of us know we can do it this way, but we struggle with a lot. And so this most overlooked key to healing your chronic symptoms is yourself, right? At the end of the day, when you're battling some kind of inflammation, eczema, you have a lot of bloating, you have a lot of constipation, you're chronically fatigued. At the end of the day, it is you that is healing yourself from these symptoms, right? You're implementing these different strategies, these different methods, you're changing your diet and all the things that, you know, are supposed to help with your healing. But what is actually overlooked is you listening to your own body and tapping into the internal awareness that you have with yourself and the patterns that you see with these flares and these symptoms based on what your body is telling you. And this is so crucial in achieving long lasting results because we're no longer fixating on a carnivore diet, right? In the last episode, talk about that. We're no longer fixating on what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. We're no longer fixating on what's the best supplement. And while all those things are obviously very important, we need to eat well, we need to have the right root cause supplements. But at the end of the day, you have to listen to your own body. And that's often overlooked, right? Because as someone who is experiencing these symptoms, and I can relate, is we focus so much on the external things that we can do to control, right? Like I said, the diet, the supplements, the next strategy that we almost lose ourselves in the process. And we don't even feel aligned with the things that we're doing because we're not listening to what our body is actually desiring. Our bodies want us to listen to it when it's trying to heal. It's on your side. So it wants to work with you as a team and it wants to be able to know that you are listening to the signs and symptoms that it's telling you. Because all the symptoms you're experiencing, the patches of eczema, you're feeling six months pregnant because of the bloat, you're noticing your hair falling out. Like these are all 
signs and symptoms that your body is trying to communicate with you. So we need to learn how to be more in tune with our bodies by listening to it more. And I truly believe that is the most overlooked key to healing because I've seen it. I've seen it in my practice. I've seen it in my own healing journey where, you know, a lot of my clients come to me initially and they're just so overwhelmed with all these things they have to do based on what social media is telling them to do, right? All these elimination diets and histamine diets, take this new amazing probiotic, and there's just so much conflicting information out there that we get lost in the cloud of information that we don't even know if our body resonates with it because everyone's body is unique. And it's not going to respond to everything that's out there. And so it comes down to really listening to your internal awareness and noticing your own patterns in your own health and your symptoms to determine what is the actual healing approach. Because Alice might need elimination diet because she wants to figure out her food sensitivities and she notices that she actually has them. But maybe Sally needs to work on regulating her nervous system and that's her root cause of why she has flare-ups to food, right? It's very different between each and individual person. So it's important to really look into how you're feeling, what you need, what feels good to you before you start implementing all these strategies out there. So how do we actually build that awareness and understand our bodies more? I think, first of all, it's really important to keep a journal and write down all your physical symptoms and your emotional symptoms as well. So what are your symptoms that you're experiencing right now? Is it eczema? Is it chronic constipation? Do you have a severe PMS? Write those symptoms down and try to connect that with what is going on in your life. So we're considering your meals, what kind of foods you're eating, how do you feel when you're eating your meals, are your symptoms linked to specific emotional triggers, do you notice that you have symptoms more so when you are in a certain environment, right? Do you notice symptoms when you're at work and less symptoms when you're at home? Do you notice that on some days that when you don't sleep eight hours, you actually are more inflamed? These are things that we have to be mindful of in our lifestyle. But because we live in a world where everyone is just go, 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 the hustle and bustle of things that we don't actually take time to reflect on our day, our week, our months, right? And so that's why keeping a journal and writing down all these things is going to help you be more mindful of your lifestyle. But not only this, you also remember what's going on, right? Because I don't remember what I ate two days ago. I don't remember how I felt two weeks ago because I'm just so busy, right? We're so busy with the day-to-day things. We don't, we don't remember things. And so keeping a tracker or a journal is going to help you take the first step in being aware of your lifestyle and your mind and your body because all of that is connected to your symptoms. And then over time, as you become better at connecting your physical symptoms to your emotional, to your lifestyle, to your mindset, you don't have to keep writing these things down and keeping track because you'll just learn how to be more in tune with your body. You just know. You just have this inner knowing and you'll feel connected to your own body and understand what is really going on. For example, for me, I know exactly what causes my eczema to flare. Exactly. Like it's to the T. It's always when I am overly stressed for a long period of time. It's not short term for me. Some people, you know, when they experience stress in that moment, they notice that their skin gets worse. Mine doesn't get worse until two, three months later. It's crazy but it makes sense. My eczema always gets worse when I go back home to Vancouver because Vancouver is the place where I grew up, not in the best environment, a lot of traumas that I'm still healing. But I do notice that whenever I go back to Vancouver, back to my parents' home, my symptoms and my skin gets significantly worse. My eczema is not related to my diet per se. It's not related to the lack of supplements. And you know, I'm not saying that I don't eat healthy. Of course, I, I am very mindful of the foods I eat, but I don't care too much because I know I eat pretty good for the most part, first of all. And I don't get symptoms when I eat like a burger or fries or pizza because a balanced moderation and my skin doesn't respond as much as someone else who is more sensitive to those foods. 
So that's an example of how I know and understand my own body. Obviously for you, it's going to be very different. And if you don't know yet, if you don't know how to listen to your body signals, you don't know your root causes, come to the training (laughs) because I'm going to be sharing all of this at the live training that's happening tomorrow at 4 p.m. PST, 7 p.m. EST. But again, these types of things take time and learning about yourself, what you need, and even just like understanding your emotions and feeling into them as well. I think when we focus so much on the diets and the supplements, we kind of like forget our own emotions and how we feel about our own journey. And a big part of healing is honestly just sitting with yourself and just like feeling into your emotions. I think in a way, a lot of us are afraid of how we feel because we don't want to feel sad. We don't want to feel sorry for ourselves that we mask it by overdoing it with our diet, with controlling the things we eat, by buying a bunch of supplements. It's kind of like that mask, you know? I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I certainly realized this is something I did with my own healing journey is that because I didn't want to feel how I was feeling because it scared me to feel sad, to feel frustrated, to feel sorry for myself for having such bad skin and just not feeling good about my healing and my journey and myself, that instead of sitting with those emotions and feeling those emotions, I turned to distractions like strict diets and a bunch of supplements and trying to control everything outside of me So I couldn't actually feel how I was feeling because I was focused on everything else around me. It's a different perspective, but I encourage you to think about that. And again, it goes back to the topic for today's episode, right? The overlooked key to healing your symptoms is really just yourself and focusing on how you feel, how you feel about your emotions, how aligned are you with your mind and your body? Are you really listening to your body's signals or are you just reaching to the diet, to the supplements in order to not really feel into your emotions or really try and understand what is going on in your body? At the end of the day, it is your journey. You know your body best more than a test more than a food sensitivity test, more than any practitioner will tell you. So that's why there is no single approach to healing symptoms and why personalizing your own healing journey is going to give you the best results, is going to give you true progress and long lasting healing, which is what we all want, right? We don't want to have to heal temporarily and then experience these cycle of flares and cycle of symptoms ongoing, but that will happen if we don't listen to our bodies, if we don't actually understand what is going on. And while there's experts, there's practitioners like me who provide advice on how to heal, what foods to eat, you know, root causes, all the things that we always talk about, But there is no one size fits all. This is why it is important to customize some of these recommendations based on your own healing and your own experience and your own journey and how your own body responds, right? I'm not saying, you know, don't ask for help. Definitely invest in yourself and ask for help from a practitioner who's experienced because that's why we're here. We're here to help you, right? We have the knowledge in nutrition, in the body, in supplements, like that's what we're here for. But we're not the actual ones in your body and understanding how you feel. So we can give you the advice, but you have to tweak it in a way that fits your lifestyle that you feel good about, right? And then we're here to support you as your coach by your side, working along these challenges and helping you make these tweaks that works best for you so that it's sustainable in the long run. And with that, if you need support and you feel like, you know what, I am ready to heal. I'm ready for change. I've been doing things on my own. It's not getting the results that I'm wanting long-term. And I want to understand my own symptoms, my body, and just be more in tune with it. I'm taking clients inside my one-on-one coaching. This is where you get the most personalization, the most customization with your entire healing. And so you can apply for my coaching in the show notes below. And don't forget to also register for the training. I'll be teaching more about this topic tomorrow. And I have a new offer for those of you who don't want to do one-on-one coaching, but you still want to get support from me at a very affordable price, then make sure you come to the training. I'll be announcing that offer at the training and you guys get first dibs. I love you guys so much. I hope you found this episode helpful and I will see you guys at the next one.